Well, joining me now to discuss former New Jersey Superior Court uh, judge and host of the fantastic podcast, Judging Freedom, Judge Andrew Napolitano. All right, Judge, I watched, the, I heard this this morning, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. They actually will go to what you're sending and will vet it through AI under this new bill before it sends to make sure it's permissible. Yes, and it's actually worse than it appears. First of all, this is the conservative party of Great Britain that uh, that controls parliament that enacted this legislation and a conservative prime minister who will present it to King Charles to sign it into law. Secondly, it allows AI and bureaucrats who will manipulate uh, AI to decide which language, which speech is dangerous. Third, it will then force uh, social media to take that speech down. And if they fail to take a dime in it down in a timely manner, 18 million pounds in a fine. That's about $15 million. And you don't think that the progressives in the United States are salivating over this because they want to see how this trial balloon in Great Britain works. Well, and that's my next thing is like, look, it's Europe. I care less about Europe than I do America. However, we know that our own government, it was just decided in the Fifth Circuit Court that they treat the First Amendment as a suggestion. Look at this, the Patriot Act, specifically the FISA Act 702, the NSA surveillance, all these, these are from ACLU headlines that are saying the government violates our constitution. How concerned do we have to be as Americans that somehow the left is going to import this in here? We have to be very concerned, uh, Carl. And it's not just the left. I am sorry to tell you. The Patriot Act was passed by a, a Republican Congress. Sure. Section 702, which allows the FBI and American intelligence to spy on non-Americans, even when they communicate with Americans, was reenacted by uh, with Republican support. This is the, the big government UNA party, the pro-war party in both parties, in both houses of Congress that want to give the intelligence community and the FBI more power than it already has. Like I said, they're watching what happens in Great Britain to take the best parts of that mm -hmm. and try and get it to pass here. Fortunately here, yeah. we have the First Amendment. We have an independent judiciary, which hopefully will do the right thing. But it will take years before a test case makes its way to the judiciary. And in that interim, people will lose the freedom of speech, which they've already lost in Great Britain. Yeah. And the last question I have for you here, is, and this is my major concern, is part of that bill forces these people like Signal and other messaging apps that are supposed to be encrypted and private and disappear or whatever to build a backdoor in for the government moderators. That's insane to me. Right now, if you use encrypted uh, uh, communications here in the U.S., there is no way the government can get in there. Under this legislation, which is about to become law in Great Britain, the, the, uh, the encryptor has to reveal it to the government whenever the government wants it. So there's no privacy. This is worse than George Orwell's 1984. And I hate to say it, it's on its way across the Atlantic. Ugh. Uh, it is shocking to me. It makes me want to freak out. But anyway, Judge Andrew Napolitano, appreciate your insight on this, sir. Pleasure, Carl.